Here are five things you can do to enhance your cloud computing career that have nothing to do with cloud computing. Welcome to the Cloud Computing Insider, where you hear about the reality of cloud computing and expanded use of generative AI. I'm your host, Dave Linthicum, author, speaker, cloud computing thought leader, tech exec, B. Geek. Let's start the discussion. So this came out of uh, a lot of people reaching out to me after the first of the year to you know talk about career changes if you notice that uh, when we come back from the holiday break uh, everybody and announces new jobs new promotions things kind of start at the beginning of the year and as such i think people are in essence struggling with what they should be doing within their career to make things better than they are now in other words Cloud computing career, a technology career, whether you're a tech executive, a tech salesperson, you're a developer, you're an architect, someone who's participating in this market, there are certain things that you can do to enhance your career that, by the way, have nothing to do with cloud computing and, by the way, are absolutely free. Let's talk about them. So the first one is being a continuous learner. It's a bit of a cop out. Everybody tells you that you're going to have to learn ongoing, which means that your learning journey never stops. Um, so we know that that's going to be true. However, this is reinforcing that because that is a mainstay to someone enhancing their career and becoming better at cloud computing and understanding and having a larger breadth of knowledge uh, than they did before. So that means you're taking courses on YouTube. They're absolutely free. Um, reading books, uh, fairly inexpensive to do that. And also formal online training. You'll find many classes are out there that are available for free or a small charge. Um, and your ability to, in essence, outstretch you're learning and understanding of different things. For example, if you're a cloud computing developer, understand things about architecture, understand things about serverless technology, understand things about the new generative AI trend, what that means to you as a developer by taking courses continuously to enhance your knowledge. Um, also brand specific training. So you may find that if you're a cloud computing architect, it may pay uh, dividends if you take uh, training that's related to a uh, specific brand, AWS, Microsoft, and Google, and learn about specific technologies that they have to offer. What this is going to do, it's going to allow you to participate in a larger variety of conversations. People are going to know that you know your stuff because you took time to learn it. And it's going to be a practice that's going to serve you well for the remainder of your career. Next is work for free. Um, so that means that you're doing things that you're not being compensated for, but they're going to have a positive effect in your career. Uh, doing this, uh, doing this uh, YouTube video, uh, for example, uh, I don't get paid for this. I don't plan on getting paid for this. However, it does allow me to get the message out in different ways, and therefore it raises the amount of people who pay attention to me, my audience, and it's going to have a positive effect on my career. Other things you can do are write articles. You can volunteer to write articles for different publications. Uh, people have a tendency to think that uh, it's very difficult to get in with a publication to write an article. If you let enough editors know that you're willing to write for free and the topics you're able to cover, they're going to assign you something or they're going to publish something that you're, you've written. Keep in mind you need to go to them first. Don't write an article and then try to submit it to different publications because there's they're going to want to have input in what that is. But uh, lots of publications out there willing to accept um, unsolicited articles. It's a great idea to um, uh, increase your knowledge, increase your understanding of something. That's what I do use it for. And then your ability to have uh, better impact and uh, better influence uh, within the cloud computing marketplace. Um, volunteer. Uh, in some instances, people may need a consultant or someone who's to, going to serve on a board of a uh, you know, say a charity uh, where they need a technical uh, mind who's going to sit on the board, almost never pay you, which is fine. Um, certainly rewarding because you're working for a charity, but also you get out there and meet people. Uh, people know who you are. You're meeting other people within the industry and within other, other industries. And just making those connections is a good idea. And also the ability to kind of go out and give back to the community is a great idea. So make sure you consider volunteering. 
Also, speaking at any events, very much like the article thing, let enough people know that you want to speak at their event. You're not going to get a keynote position uh, at a major conference right away, but who knows? Uh, but you are going to get to speak at, uh, you know, say, a local user group, um, things like that that are, you know, between 50 and 100 people. But that gives you the experience of speaking, and that kind of leads you into other speaking opportunities. So the thought leadership aspect of it, the ability to communicate verbally, it's going to build those skills and build your speaking skills, which I think is important. Was not a great speaker uh, in my 20s, uh, did it enough through repetition, was able to get better and better and better. And I started speaking just the same way we're talking here. I started to volunteer. I will speak at your event. And... Uh, People uh, sometimes will give you an opportunity. Finally, mentoring. Um, that means letting people know that you're willing to help them and provide mentoring for their career. Uh, so young people, people who are just starting out in cloud computing, they always want assistance and guidance from people who know what the market is able to do. If you're able to provide that, uh, let everybody know. Uh, that you're up to accept mentors. Uh, I have many informal and formal mentors right now. I've known them for years. And, and it's, a, it's a mutually beneficial relationship because they're able to provide me with different networking opportunities and I'm able to provide them with career guidance. Uh, and it's always a good idea to do that. You're really, uh, you know, should consider uh, helping other people. Uh, the other thing is maintain a... Uh, create and maintain personal relationships um, with other cloud professionals. So I always have this guidance. I assist when asked, and I ask for assistance if it's needed. So if someone comes to me, no matter who, and they're asking me for advice on a company, or they're asking me for advice on how they're going to train to get a particular skill, such as becoming a cloud architect or a generative AI architect, something like that, I'm happy to provide that advice. That doesn't mean you should allow people to take advantage of you, but um, the ability to participate and provide guidance, very much like mentoring, um, is going to pay back. Uh, it's going to be great karma, great relationship building, all those sorts of things. And you're going to get better at it because in your experience in uh, helping people, you're going to get uh, exposed to different people, different subject matters, uh, it's just going to be a mutually beneficial relationship. Also, use social networking. Um, social networking is a tool that you know has come up in the last ten years. People use it to, in essence, maintain relationships with other people in particular industries and friendships and things like that. So make sure you're updating uh, continuously, and also look at what the other people are doing and be able to comment on what they're doing. Uh, great way to get your name out there. Great, great way to keep the relationships moving. Great way to leverage these relationships to do something like get a new job or uh, find a new client if you're a consultant. Um, so, and it's going to take time to build that over time. So, in other words, your social networking impact. Uh, you know, you're going to have a thousand followers. You're going to build that up to ten thousand and build that up over years. And it's just a good idea to proactively participate on social media networks. My favorite are going to be uh, LinkedIn and uh, X, formerly Twitter, are, are the ones that I would recommend that you leverage. Also, don't be a shill for specific cloud providers of any technology. And the caveat here, unless you work for that technology provider, uh, this means don't be an advocate uh, for one technology over another. I find people out there uh, who are, are um, advocates for particular brands of technology, a, a cloud provider a database, things like that. Um, you may have a true desire to promote that particular piece of technology because you believe in it, and I think that's fine. However, it makes you come off as someone who's biased. In other words, someone who's not making uh, objective decisions on how we're leveraging technology. Uh, sometimes people are very enthusiastic, which is a nice way to say they... Um, uh, troll people out on social media, things like that around people who are not using that particular piece of technology or may say something critical about a particular piece of technology. You don't want to be that person because you're going to be identified pretty quickly and people are not going to want to engage with you. Um, keep that in mind, unless you work for the company. Obviously, if you work for a technology provider or work for a cloud provider, it's okay for you to be an advocate for that technology because you're doing your job. And then um, finally, you know, do at least one thing a month that really steps you out of your comfort zone. So 
and that looking what we just talked about, the working for free and the mentoring and the other things like that. But I'm talking about do some tasks typically associated with your employment that wouldn't be something you would normally accept as a task that you would want to do. So if you're a database engineer, um, you know, look over at a DevOps infrastructure and maybe uh, volunteer to work on a DevOps team and work with a DevOps engineer. That's going to be stepping out of your comfort zone because you work with databases. And this is going to be a different set of tools, technologies, different sets of understanding. Um, if you're working with a particular cloud provider brand like AWS, um, volunteer or work on projects that are not AWS, uh, Microsoft, Google, things like that. Work with technology that you think would be a stretch for your skills, but in you doing that, you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're increasing your abilities as a professional and also gaining confidence. And I think that's the biggest thing. So in other words, you have confidence that you can move from one particular technology silo to other ideas and other topics and do so in a way which is going to be valuable to people who are employing you and certainly valuable to you because you learn new skills and you also gain the confidence and understanding that you can go off and do something. And you're going to translate that into other opportunities when you're, someone is offering you employment or offering you the ability to work on a project or offering you a promotion. You're okay with understanding that that's going to be new things you're going to have to learn, and it's going to be difficult a difficult transition for you to understand them, but you have confidence in yourself that you can go off and do them. So that'll change from the normal. Um, these are concepts, by the way, that uh, don't just apply to cloud computing. As I mentioned, these apply to any uh, career aspirations you may have. You can be a real estate agent. You can be a lawyer. Uh, these are just generally good ideas that you need to practice. Um, different career just means a, a different set of things you need to learn and understand, different relationships you need to cultivate and create, but the concepts are just the same. So keep that in mind. So anyway, make sure to like and subscribe, but don't forget my book. Also uh, check out my courses on LinkedIn Learning, my blog on InfraWorld.com. So until next time, you guys stay, stay happy. <laughs>